Hey, Robbie. Hey. So can you uh, tell us a little bit about how you came up with the idea for this meet and greet thing? Well, I started that group, my uh, Facebook group, about, what, at least three years ago, right? And it's gotten pretty big. I think I have like 4,000, over 4,000 followers. So people have just been wanting to meet up. We kind of want to do like a, a, a Western style, kind of just meet and greet, uh, see everyone's bikes kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, Taiwan's a pretty small community, you know, the bike scene. I just need to find the time and to meet everyone, finally, right? So. So where do you live in Taiwan? Uh, that's right. Been here about 20 years. Okay. So you like to do a lot of like adventure style, off road, things like that? Yeah, when I have time, sure. There's a group of us who go off road and try to hit some river beds, do a little bit of camping. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so I'm an ABC. My parents are Taiwanese, but uh, basically born and bred in the U.S. Okay. From California. Uh huh. Uh, I'm actually in Taiwan because uh, I work for a U.S. company, and then they sent me here to, uh, you know, basically manage the whole supply chain in oh, Asia. Right. Oh. Yeah. So I've been here for a little bit over two years, and then uh, been riding since uh, 17 back in the states. Oh. Uh, first bike was a Ninja. Second bike was a Jixer 750. And then when I came here, I saw the motorcycle scene, so I ended up getting uh, the Triumph here. But it's pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah, sport here is the, much, ex much more expensive. Yeah, particularly the Triumphs, they seem to be quite high. Yeah, yeah. so brand new for this is uh, 560000 Yeah. So I found a new uh, used, uh -huh. and then it was only uh, 350 so I think that was okay. Okay, so you've been riding in Taiwan for how long? Uh, two years. Okay, since yeah. you came, first came. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. one of the things that I wanted to get into, uh, get back into. Uh huh. Yeah, from the states. So how long have you been on the Facebook group? Uh, Facebook group. So yeah, around two years when I first came here. Okay. And I was looking for motorcycles. I found the, the Taiwan motorcycle group. Uh huh. And then uh, met Robbie before. Uh huh. Because I was actually looking. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to do something similar, but then, you know, just, that's a Frankenstein, so. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of hard. it takes a lot of work, a lot of personal attention. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to have that connection, the resource. Yeah. yeah. But, you got a triple here. Yep, that's... I love the triples. The sound, the sound Triumph. is amazing. Yeah, it just sounds so good. Yeah. Very uh, nice. I got the arrow. Arrow pipe. Yep. Wow. Imported from uh, the UK. Uh huh. Nice. I live in Taiwan for three years. I live in Taiwan for three years. Portuguese. Uh, my first bike, my first motor, uh, X Max, Yamaha X Max, uh, 150 cc. Uh, tenho licença um ano. Uh, motos pequenas. Agora já tenho licença classe A. Okay, para motos grandes. Yellow plate, red plate. 
Taiwan, if you don't have a bike, it's better you walk. <laughs> Uh, I've been riding scooter from a long time though, but today I've been in Taipei, I got a license. And, but from last year I got a 48, it's 200cc, I got it from Harley Davidson. Yes, I've been riding for almost a year, I'll be completing a year next year, uh, next month, my June. But it's been very less on mileage, but I hope I can do a lot and I've been enjoying it in Taipei. Yeah, it's really fun for going from Ping Shi, Ping Lin. The routes are nice and it's easy to find good friends. For the foreign guy and even some Taiwanese also. Uh, it's been 12 years, but I think I've got to explore more on the bikes now. I mean, like, yeah. So, so uh, what's your name? John. 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 Good to meet you, man. And where are you headed? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're up here in Taipei, and I'm I'm headed back home uh, to uh, Lugang, which is close to Taichung. It's on the west coast. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So. Uh, it takes a few hours to get down there, so I figure it's, it's, it's really hot right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy the breeze going going down south. Yeah, so how long have you been riding in Taiwan? Uh, I've been riding about close to three years. Oh, it's a Yamaha Harley. Oh, it is? It's a Yamaha. Oh, that's right. It looks like a Harley. It does. It, it sounds like a Harley, too. It feels like a Harley, sort of, but a Harley's got like more vibration. Yeah. More ruckety ruckety, you know, and this one's more like boom, 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 you know. Yeah. But it's uh, still nice and loud. I love it. She's a good girl. She's really, she's fast. She's 11 years old and yeah. 35,000 miles, but doesn't burn any oil. She's really, she's she's not quick, but she's fast. Yeah. So, so, so you you've uh, been into cruisers before you came here? Uh, actually, no. No, okay. I, it wasn't until I came to Taiwan that I became a, a, a but it's hard to find a, a place to park and the traffic's really slow. So it's, you can actually get from one place to another really fast, faster, even in, in town, even in a large city like Taichung or Taipei. And uh, on a scooter, because you're always riding on the side of the traffic. Well, you know, the big cars are like sitting there waiting at these red lights. Yeah. Stuck, right after the yeah. Right over people. But down, you know, down the sidewalks. Yeah. And, uh, great, great country for a bike. Oh, what's that? It's a great country for a bike. Yeah. 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 Anyhow. All right. Thanks. Okay, man. Hello, my name is Robert Gustafson. Uh, I've been in Taiwan for 17 years. I work with Nano Technology, and this is my wonderful bike. It's a Zero SR, the only one in Taiwan. Uh, zero to 60 in 3.3 seconds. It's a yellow plate, but I call it a red plate killer because I can kick almost every red plate's ass off the line. A lot of fun. Uh, I wish more people would go electric, but I guess that's how it's going to be. Yeah. So, um, how long have you had this this bike? I've had it for about a year and three months. Have you had any issues with it? Uh, except for uh, Lexus cutting me off. <laughs> Besides that, no. Runs great. I've never had any problems with it at all besides that crash. Yeah. Really nice bike though. That's great. I wish, wish they'd get more SRs, but they're not going to bring any more in. So It's the only one in Taiwan and I'm taking it back to the States next Hi week. Michael, my name's James and I'm actually a motorcycle fan and living in Taipei. And I got to know this Facebook group from Robbie. And uh, I think it's a great thing to uh, meet up here in, uh, in Taoyuan and actually look at all the, uh, all the fans and the motorcycle riders. Uh, it's great weather today, you see a lot of uh, nice bikes and uh, get to meet uh, a lot of nice people who know a lot about motorcycles and stuff. So, uh, very happy to be here. Uh, thanks a lot for the invitation, Michael, Robbie. And, uh, it's a great time to be here. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Hey, uh, hi, hello, I'm Neil. Um, oh, hi, I learned about the group. <laughs> Somehow through Facebook, maybe a friend was on it or something. I'm, I don't remember to tell you the truth. I've been a member for a while, so I don't know. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, I came out today, uh, had the day off. Uh, Come out and be social and meet everybody, see everybody's bikes. And so what do you do here in Taiwan? Uh, I'm a mountain guy. I own, a, I own a company that we take people hiking in the high mountains. And how long have you been riding? Um, well, I've been in Taiwan for 13 years and I got a legend my second day here, I think. 
So 13 years. <laughs> nice. I've had a bigger bike for two years now. Yeah. All right. Nice. Thanks. So, what was the lead up like to this event? People kept talking to me about it. Guy, you got to find a place. Um, it just, uh, I don't know. It, I pretty much just took the responsibility in my hands and just uh, find a spot and this, this is it. This could be the place. So everyone just, we're meeting here. There was people were trying to find places in, Ta in Taipei and whatever. I was like, no, no, we'll find the, just make it happen, make a date, and, and just say, come here and see what happens. I didn't put any much, you know, too much thought into it, to be honest. So when uh, now that we're here, uh, how do you feel about the turnout? I think it's for the first one, not bad. We got at least maybe 20 to 30 bikes out here, so. I would love to see more smaller bikes, to be honest with you. We had tons of red plates, red and yellow plates. But, yeah, I, I, would, I, any, I want anyone to come out here. You know, I, don't, I don't care if you just ride a, a scooter every day to work. But I want everyone, if, you like, if you're an enthusiast with bikes or scooters, just come out and meet new people, right? So, yeah. It was a good turnout, though. It yeah. could have been worse. It could have been fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, was, was there any, any last things that you wanted to say about... I think it, I think this thing went great. I'm I'm super happy. Everyone was so nice. Got to meet so many faces. I've been talking to all you guys online now for the past you know three three four years. So it's just finally uh, nice to actually put a real face to you know your your Facebook uh, picture, right? So, yeah. I, it's great. It's so good. I love talking talking bikes like this. Stuff.